my fellow citizens and the health professionals i am dr mohammed adil fellow of the royal colleges of surgeons of uk and ireland with 30 years of unblemished medical record while working for the nhs today i am speaking with you with full honesty and truth that i have been victim of huge injustice by the medical establishment general medical council national health services and my trust in early 2020 for holding an opinion about novel coronavirus in early 2020 as a result of emergence of novel coronavirus the borders of the entire world were closed and the lockdown was imposed on the public which caused a serious confusion uncertainty and damage to the public in respect of their economy health services, education, and social well-being. There has been total violation of the civil liberties, human rights, and the medical ethics. As a scientist, and the surgeon with 35 years experience i look the entire scenario related with the coronavirus differently and i express my personal viewpoint in a couple of my videos released on the social media appreciated by many million people across the world this was not appreciated by my trust where I was working as a consultant general and colorectal surgeon in North General Hospital, Manchester. I was dismissed on 22nd of April 2020 with the immediate order without any warning, show cause notice or disciplinary action, which was total violation of the National Health Services contract, followed by suspension by the General Medical Council for 12 months. In a short hearing over the sky with the interim order tribunal, my suspension order was further extended by the General Medical Council for 12 months and my case was referred to the medical professional tribunal which was totally unfair unjustified and discriminatory now after my suspension general medical council walked into three or four trusts where i had worked in last three years to find any clinical information to reinforce their false fabricated media case and general medical council tried to implicate me in mental health issue but they terribly and miserably fail to prove any clinical physical or mental health issue whatsoever i neither lied with my patients at public nor my videos caused any damage to the members of the public or my profession however our politicians medical establishment general medical council and national health services have caused immense damage to the public 
with total loss of health services, economy, education, and the well-being, with enormous fear and anxiety created among the public for which they are responsible. As a result, the waiting list of the patients have gone up to over 10 million. And NHS has refused to accommodate those patients. And they are pushing towards the private sectors. 65% patients have already gone to the private sector for their investigations and treatment. According to the Lancet and the British Medical Association figures, I have seen the misery of the patients suffering in accident emergencies and, and in the hospitals, waiting for 12 to 24 hours. It's impossible to have a face-to-face -face appointment with the GPs. Waiting time to see a specialist is a minimum between 12 to 24 months. This has resulted serious frustration among the public. Hundreds and thousands of nurses have gone to, on strike. Similarly, more than 100,000 social health care workers are on strike, and 40 to 50,000 ambulance crew and the paramedics are on strike. The government is not interested to accommodate them. I have knocked the doors of the High Court for the ongoing injustice and prolonged suspension and unfair dismissal for the last nearly three years, since 22nd of April 2020. Because my suspension has resulted serious impact to my reputation, my career. I lost my job and income and livelihood. And this has resulted serious trauma and psychological impact to my family and three little children who are in school. And their education and livelihood has been seriously compromised. My court hearing is on 15 of February 2023 in, in High Court, London. And my brister, who is very reliable and experienced, Mr. Francis Hoor, and the experienced counsel, Mr. Philip Highland, PJ Law Firm, are representing me in the High Court for the justice. I am standing for the justice on the truth and I believe on my medical ethics, peace and tranquility. And I stand with the public and follow my medical ethics. Just giving crowdfunding has created a page for your generous donation to support my cause in the high court to bear the expenses. I am really grateful for your ongoing financial, moral, and ethical support for standing with me. And I shall be most grateful for your generous donation so that we can win this historical case totally based on my freedom of speech and expression and nothing else. I wish you all the best for everything. Thank you for your ongoing support. All the best. Dr. Muhammad Adil from UK.